now the signal's gone, and I'm getting a bellyache just thinking about the fuel expense of landing on this stud. Sure, we thought we'd already be on another delivery job. But that energy spike definitely came from this place, and I'm already geared up back here. All right, all right. Drop point. You secured? All right, hooked up then. <sighs> Damn it. The power glove's acting up. Again? What'd you use to mend it? Super glue? Super glue? Why not just solder it? Because we're out of zinc for the alloy. I used the last rod to patch up the hydro spanner. No solder rod? No coffee? Only one beer left? Sick of having gruel for lunch. Being poor sucks. All right, here we go. Oh, I don't like this weather. I'm pretty sure the ship's insurance won't cover alien storm damage. Hey, our dust bunny's tough. If she could talk, she'd say she want us to land and go explore. You want us to land so you can go explore. One up to you, Captain. Since when am I the captain? We took the loan together. We both have to pay the mortgage. Hey, here's something. You feel like analyzing some scan data? That's what we're here for? Scan away. Just a basic composite of silicate. No energy reading to speak of. So, we can't sell it? Not unless we find a million of them. Wait, the signal's back. Weaker though, and I can't get a clear reading. There's some stuff down here causing interference. Come take a look. What in the world? Huh, a blob of gunk. Yeah, that's an apt name for it. Can you scan it without getting too close? I don't know what's in it. Looks like snot. If it is, I don't want to meet the thing that sneezed. Keep your mask on. Seems to be some sort of organic compound. Luckily, I don't think it's snot. Think you can use your glove to clean it up? All right, what do you say, pumpkin? Can we clean it up? What's up with the radio reception? Why? The pattern kind of looks like the signal we got before, just weaker. If the reading is right, this stuff's got some energy potential. For real? Keep your head screwed on. This puddle's not much to write home about. But if we can find a bigger deposit... I think we should look for a place to land. Sweet! Light the way! Find more of that substance, our poor days might be over. I could get a garden of my own back home. What would you do? Pay our bills? I meant after that. I know. But I don't dream big until I know it's within my reach. A dream, Bex, is something that's out of our reach. Otherwise, it's called an option.
There's an open space over these cliffs. You make it through? Anything for my captain. <laughs> enough with the captain thing. This place seems like it's big enough for the bunny, right? Yeah, but I can't take her down until that gun's gone. Care to clean it up? Oh yeah, it'll be our pleasure. On. Hope it helps with the signal. off this time. You got served. Maybe you should take a look at his code. Yesterday he ran all of my tools through the washing machine. Uh, yeah. That storm was rough, and I don't like the look of that river. I'll run some diagnostics on Bunny just to be safe. Now? I was thinking we could do some exploring? Together? Avoid the boring stuff, you mean. No, I just thought... I know, Ronnie, but I have to take care of the ship first. Look, I'm running a constant scan for the energy signal. Why don't you remove some more gunk and see if we pick it up again? Okay, if you say so, Cap. <laughs> Just be careful. I think the bunny will like it here. Could be worse, I guess. Ample space, ground seems stable enough. I'm still not happy about the look of that river, though. Come on. It doesn't get much better than this. Who knows what we'll find? Hopefully, the source of that energy signal. You were going on and on about landing here. You're just standing around chatting? Go on! Get out there! I'm on it. Plant life is so weird around here. Did you see that round glowy thing over there? Uh. Uh. Always good to stock up. If you find some metal ore for the soldering alloy, you can repair it. The glove, once and for all. Lights on, pumpkin. about this. Anything we can use? All right, there's platinum in there. That should give a solid silver. Go get some more. You're not taking unnecessary risks now, huh? I never take unnecessary risks. Oh yeah? What about that time on Beta Romulus? <laughs> Ugh, that foreman didn't even listen. I warned her. 
That woman owes you half an arm. You could have died in that shitty mine. But instead, I got you. And this lovely glove. Okay, Bex. I think I got what I need. Great. Head back. Stuff sure looks interesting. I wonder. What's up with your attention span? Aren't you gonna find a way up the cliff? I want to do an experiment first. Since this is not worth harvesting, I might as well throw something in it and see what happens. I just need something the right size. Take cover, Kurt. You don't serve. Kurt. You got to serve. And a good day to you too, buddy. This could fit. Check the data for me, please. Bullocks! I can't rip it off. The roots deep underground. We we'll need a proper fix for the glove. If you find some metal ore for the soldering alloy, you could repair it once and for all. If we're gonna stick around here for a while, I'm really going to need it. Ah, uh, here we go. Good as new, pumpkin. I'll be able to rip up that stubborn alien plant for sure. Stop chatting with your glove and just go pick the damn plant. All right, I guess I'll just throw this ball into that glowing stuff and see what happens, right? Got more of a green thumb than me. Son of a. Did you blow something up? Yeah, you could say that. I just grew myself a freaking staircase. A staircase? What? The energy puddle? Huh, that's interesting. I'll tell you what, why don't you tell me about it back here? I'm all done, and I'm ready for some chow. In a few minutes, okay?
this river looks pretty bad. Wonder where it leads. Definitely energy potential in this stuff. Right now, I just yeah. wish it was edible. Hey, why don't you just grab a gruel snack to hold you over? There's even some sorghum growing in the hydro. Hey, I've set up your radio as a repeater for the ship's scanner. So I'm like a walking energy detector now? Your gear should pick up the energy signal if you happen to get within range while you're out there. looks promising. Seems like there's some stuff we could use here. Collect as much as you can. Bad. Maybe you should head back? I don't want to lose contact. This vegetation doesn't look right. It's like the gunk is sucking the life out of it. Let me do something about it. I'll head back soon. Promise. Gunk wants to cause harm, like it's, uh, you know, sentient or something. <laughs> sentient, that icky stuff. Jeez, I hope not.
are breaking up. What's going on? Um, this might take me a while after all. <sighs> Give me a break. You'd understand if you've seen what I'm seeing. The gunk's eating everything here. Come see for yourself. Read my post on an empty stomach. Don't think so. You're right. The gunk is a bloody news. What there is, the more chance of energy pain. since I nailed a shot, but maybe I still got it. Some of these plants might make a nice stew. Want me to bring some back for you? I cannot be bribed with alien gumbo ingredients. If you find a pack of beer or a tin of coffee beans, I'm willing to talk. All right, I'll keep an eye out, but don't get your hopes up. the river again.
Bring it on! Beautiful. There's more life here than we thought, Bex. I've encountered animals. What? Really? Did they have teeth and claws? Some of them did, yeah. If you get hurt, I will kill you. is literally a paradise when the gunk's gone. Lush and colorful and amazing. I could just roll around and rub my face in it all. I wouldn't advise that. Hard to track energy signals when you're having an allergy attack. Oh, treasure for little old me? <laughs> yes, please. I'll take these, thank you very much.
Ronnie, I had Kurt get a water sample from the river. It's thick with gunk. I hear ya. The stream doesn't look too inviting out here either. What if the camp gets flooded? Bunny would not approve of that. This place sure is something else. I'm gonna freak out. <sighs> Any plans of heading back? I'm following an animal, and it's the most beautiful creature I've ever seen. <laughs> Just gonna track it a little bit further. If I had a credit for every time I heard you say I'm just gonna...
There you are. believe we got here before anyone else? It doesn't look like much from space. If it wasn't for your pig-headed nature, we'd have skipped right past it. Good thing, too. The big corpse would troll every last bit of life out of this place. Yeah, our connections aren't really the sort that would spend good credits on plants. But if we find the motherload of that energy, we can thank the stars we came first. I'm not claustrophobic. alive, but, uh, but it seems like it's drawn to living things. It's like it's completely off balance. My best theory, yet, is the gunk is a waste product from some kind of ecosystem-related process. Like poop? You're eloquent as always, but it might not be a bad metaphor. <gasps> Huh? 
fast, but I wish you wouldn't run from me. I, I just want to look at you. something here. Hurts? Everything okay? Yeah, sure. It's just I I think the animal might be hurt. I I want to check on it. Why this obsession with animal care? Just feels like we should be focusing on more practical matters. Not like we haven't got news back home. Look at you. Uh, you're okay. You're saying hello, aren't you? Hi. Hi there. All right. Off you go. What the hell is that? Whoa, that thing is massive! Hey, Tex, 
This looks like we're not the first intelligent life on this rock after all. I mean, there are structures all over this area. What? Yeah. There were definitely people living here. I hope you're sure about the past tense. Not up for alien encounters. Sure looks deserted. I'll send you some scans. these inscriptions. Hey, Bex, how are your skills in uh, ancient alien alphabets, huh? Bit rusty, to be honest. But send a scan my way and I'll have to come. This translation's gonna take a while. Any clues on how to crack this gate open? Seems like the control mechanism is triggered by some sort of energy pulse. Hmm, I've got a wonky thermal accelerator on my workbench. And I think I should be able to modify the glove. Okay! I'm heading back to camp! Finally! You should find a good spot for putting down a signal beacon. Maybe over by the statue. It'll make it easier for you when you want to return there later. Now, what's this fellow's deal? What were you up to? The metallurgy here is advanced. A lot of care went into erecting this thing. Yeah, it sure is imposing. Must be someone important, right? People rarely build statues over those who didn't make some huge difference. Could be a savior. Or a dictator, hard to guess. Well, 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 would you look at that? his joints clogged with mud. Blew a fuse when I tried to clean him. I've killed about a million of those nasty bugs. Not to mention the moist and the corrosion. Great day. Uh, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. But you know what I'm like when I get excited. Let's eat. are still in heaven. Well done, Kurt. Concerned. Tomorrow I gotta find a way to change his speech code. He needs to learn to say something else. Well, I'm going back out as soon as the sun's up. That animal I saw, I, I can't even describe it. It was so beautiful. And we've discovered traces of an old civilization. <sighs> Who were they? 
And can it tell us something about the energy signal? That's what I want to know. Yup. Hey, you should come with me for once. Let's adventure together. In these shoes? Nah. Maybe we'll get famous. I can picture the headlines. Scavengers discover unknown alien world. Make a fortune. Scrappers try to escape deaths, die in agony on shitty space rock. Everything's gonna be fine. I can feel it in my guts. Wish my guts were more like yours. Planning on sitting out here all night or what? <sighs> Just a bit longer. Suit yourself. I'm in the bunk. Lights out, Kurt. You don't serve. Cool. I'm loving this new look for Pumpkin. Badass. Get a room, you two. 